Tom Latham is obviously uh, a figure you know you know he's been here before you must be looking forward to welcoming him back yeah I had a little bit to do with Tom when he was on the academy not a great deal um, but we stayed in touch because he's had an association with the club um, I think he probably still holds the record in the league for number of runs scored for the in the North East Premier League in a single season um, when he was at Gateshead Fell I think um, so you know, he's known to the area and he's he knows the area so uh, it's a good thing um, and yeah, you know, his career has gone through uh, a real steep curve in the last couple of years. Um, we're really pleased to see that. We obviously follow him with, a, with our um, association with him. Uh, so it's been good to see it. And, and now that he's probably at a point where he's beginning to dominate and we'll take, a, take his chance at international cricket, it's great to have him back amongst our ranks. Like I say, over the, over the last probably 12 months or so, he's become a real big player in all formats, hasn't he, for New Zealand? Yeah, um, his 50-over cricket in India um, just before Christmas was really impressive. He was showed a uh, tough place to go and play 50-over cricket, and you know, I think he took his game forward there. How he played the spin as well, in particular, uh, was was impressive. Um, he's, he's making big hundreds in Test matches, probably two since Christmas already, which is great to see um, in, a, in a New Zealand side which generally punches above its weight. So it's it's good to have a guy who's who's coming used to used to doing good things for a side that's used to winning. It's obviously that the quality in all formats must be something that really kind of attracted you to try and get him back. Yeah, we've got the T20 in the period that he's likely to be with us. His domestic T20 in New Zealand was very good this year, so that was exciting. So, um, you know, he's trying to force his way into a New Zealand T20 side, so that's good for us. And then we've got a guy who's got that ambition to, to go on to the next stage. And also he's got the Champions Trophy, hasn't he, as well, just before he's going to come and join the club. A good chance for him to show what he can do to Durham fans there. Yeah, that's the way it's probably going to fit, is that he's going to stay with New Zealand. I'm, I'm assuming selection here, but I think we can be pretty confident that he'll stay with New Zealand through uh, their Champions Trophy run, which comes to an end towards uh, the back end of June. That's about the time that South African Test Squad will be arriving, so that's about the time that we look to see Stephen possibly join up with them. So uh, it dovetails quite nicely for us. And you've mentioned previously about uh, maybe bringing in a good chance for an overseas player to come in and really grow with the club over the next few years. Tom's the sort of right age for that really, isn't he? He's the right age. He's also, if you look at the, the side, he's probably played with quite a few of the guys when he was here originally. I mean, there's a lot of the guys who are now beginning to establish themselves in the first team. Um, and with the loss of a few players, will have opportunities to really you know, cement their place in the first team. Uh, they were probably the guys who were around about the second team in the academy when he was here last time. So um, I think it's quite good that they've, they've got a guy coming in and they can say, well, this guy was where I was when he was 19 and he's now a formidable test player and one international player and that's what I want to be. So uh, I think it's good for the whole group. Obviously, too, you've got these two over the line, some great additions. You must be pretty pleased with the way the, the squad's shaping up now. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable now that we've got that uh, quality into the top. I mean, there was no doubt that you know, during the winter, during the early part of the winter, we looked like that was a thin area. Uh, while we've got some good players, the top of the order had taken a hell of a hit. And it had been a real strength for us in the last couple of seasons. Obviously, with Keaton stepping up uh, last year as well. Um, and Mark and Scott having been consistent for a couple of years in four-day cricket. Um, it, it was a, a concern, but uh, really pleasing to get that, that quality uh, individuals and quality players into, into the group.